Hey everyone, Trent here at Precision Transmission. Welcome back to the channel. So we did a drive sequence here the other day on a LS swapped 4L60E. Kind of see how we do those um, on the HP tuner, laptop, and a pressure gauge. So here today, I am doing a quick learn sequence on 68 RFE. Um, we're doing a quick learn. Brand new transmission from Jasper's Engines and Transmissions. Oh, everybody will say, oh, Jasper's Engines and Transmissions, guys. We've been engineered and teamed up with these guys for a good 10, 15 years and have not had a problem. If we've had a problem, um, it's been something simple. I mean, very simple. It's like less than 1%, and that's very, very good. Um, it's all about how you install these things, do the quick learn sequences. You just can't take off in one of these after you get the transmission done and just go drive it. it needs to get up to operating temperature and which I do have here. Cody, if you come and look, um, this thing is up to 116. I like to get it above 100 or 110. I have my scanner here. I don't need a cell phone or anybody else's equipment to do what I need to do. I got all the equipment here at the shop to do the sequences that I need to run to make these things work right. So what we're gonna do here today is this thing has to go through a quick learn. What it does is it resets the CVIs in the clutch pack and we're gonna go drive this thing at low RPMs, make it shift a couple of times, stop, do the same thing, repeat, 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 get about 50, 60 miles on this thing. If it works correctly, we're gonna deliver it to our customer. Um, but what I'm getting to is on our Jasper units, uh, this is a Pretty much a stock truck. I don't think really anything done to it. Um, other than that, we're gonna get this thing on the road. Y'all ready? Okay, so let me show you. We're gonna go over here. We're gonna go to system test. We got a quick learn. We don't need to do a clutch pack test. We don't need to see what our CVIs are. We're gonna reset them. This function will, it tells you how to do it. I'm gonna move real quick before we do this, okay? I'm gonna get setting flat. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Kind of on an incline here, so these Dodge diesels are pretty heavy. And we're just gonna we're gonna baby this thing. They tell you to move them. Some of these older ones do. A couple feet. Let them roll back and forth. Let them set. Set the emergency brake. It tells you here. Engine must be running. Brake pedal press. We're not going to release the pedal. Continue. We're going to shift our transmission into drive. Not letting our foot off the brake. Okay. It wants us to go to neutral. Test is going to begin. Y'all hear that? It revved up. Put it in drive. Wants me to put it in drive. Don't let off the brake. Quick learn is complete. Shift transmission and apart. That's how you do a quick learn. A um, little bit more to it. That's the quick learn part. We have to go drive this. This isn't just a five second deal. Yeah, that's that, but we have to go drive this thing at a certain rate, different things like that. And we're gonna do that. Are y'all ready? I'm gonna turn it off real quick. Turn it back on, let it reset. We're gonna leave our scanner hooked up. Some trucks, they can cause an issue if you have a scanner hooked up to the vehicle. So sometimes you have to be careful. Everything looking good, no codes. So we're gonna be watching just some data as we're going down the road. Me checking everything out, making sure nothing crazy is going on, but safety first. Cody behind the camera, get our seat belt on. Seat belt on, Cody. Thank you for recording. Yes, sir. It's Friday. We're having a wonderful day. Cody actually got this in record time. He's doing wonderful. This guy is. He's learning a lot daily. We're throwing everything at him, and he's taking it like a champ. Let me tell you. 
So we're gonna go over here, show y'all a little bit of our drive sequence. We're just gonna let it shift a couple times. Not gonna get crazy with it. Gonna stay down, low RPM. Hear how it kinda sounds funny. These things learn all the time. It, it, it does not know anything right now. So I pretty much, I reflashed it, I reset the brain. So this thing is gonna do all kinds of crazy things until it knows how to drive. And it's gonna set the CVIs in the clutch pack. It's gonna add more fluid, less fluid, whatever it needs, raise pressure, different things like that. Not gonna stay below two grand. We like it, we got a little neighborhood over here. We're able to kind of hit all these stop signs, let it shift first, second, third, maybe fourth, depending on how far we get a block. Let it lock up. These things, if I'm correct, I think they lock up um, either after second or third and stay locked up. We're gonna go a little Main Street, get a couple of shifts in a little further. Still staying at a low RPM. We're not getting crazy with this thing. It's very important that we listen to our instructions. Transmission is 138 degrees. I'm just kind of showing you the clutch pack clearance, when it comes on, how it's applied. Um, tells you the volume that it's taking to apply your fourth clutch different things like that pretty cool you know, it's hard to explain all this stuff at one time but it's the same thing your second gear clutch how how much the volume everything like that i mean it, it, it's re it's really cool guys this is awesome stuff fourth finally got to fourth and do it again transmissions 141 degrees still staying at a low rpm Hopefully I'm not boring y'all guys. I mean, this is just the sequence we gotta go through. Um, on a 68 RFE, some of this, the 68, or not the 68, the 6L80s, 6L90s, kind of the same sequence. You gotta really learn the transmission, let it work, up, down, up, down, low RPMs, and it's gonna do the same thing. It's gonna learn sequence. And then say if Cody gets in the truck and in drive, it's gonna know that another driver is in there because we drive totally different. fifth one more time again and let's slow down and do this sequence all the way up we just know our transmissions really working well and getting the volume that it needs just without hammering down on these things I mean
first time you've really gone on a drive with me in one of these. Shifting pretty smooth. I'm learning something new. Yeah, it's really nice. Everything's working really good. This is an this is a uh, 68 RFE, all upgraded, triple billet converter. No billet shafts, but this thing also is, like I said, all upgraded, triple billet. This is a really, really good unit. Now, don't get me wrong, you start putting twin turbos, EFI, different things like that. No, now, um, it, you're gonna break it. It's just part of it. It's not gonna be the transmission that's gonna fail not mechanically you're you're gonna break or you're gonna break it mechanically it, not electronically they can help you all they can in their own world but when it comes to big performance different things like that you have to go a different route and put billet shafts and different things but let me tell you they are they are one of the one of the top as long as you're putting their units in correctly r and arm correctly like cody did here today we get a really nice, good working unit. So now we're gonna go all the way up to sixth gear. We're still staying low RPM, nothing crazy. I haven't been above two grand one time. We're at 55 mile an hour, transmission's 156. gear and locked up guys we're gonna go back to the shop we like to get a couple miles on them let it warm up go back to the shop check fluid check for leaks just in case anything can happen guys i mean anything can happen double check triple double check. check all your work yes sir exactly cody's learning here um i mean that's well why we stay a step above the rest is the, how we do our work We don't cut any corners. Do the same thing. Low RPM, we're gonna let it shift all the way up. All for my scanner. I can make this transmission lock up shift to second gear third gear fourth gear fifth gear sixth gear i can make this transmission do whatever right here i can make the injectors work i can do i can i can do everything this thing does everything this is a very very expensive computer goes to show you don't need nobody's cell phone laptop no nope. any of their information off of the vehicle other than what pulls up on the scanner we got the right equipment around here, I promise, guys. We know what we're doing. And this thing's this thing works really, really good. Really good. This is the first drive. This is the first drive. We just got it filled up. Y'all are seeing it. Nothing, <laughs> nothing hit. <laughs> Somebody was saying the other day that we oh we got a little a lot of editing going on. Man, I thought it was about as live as it could get. Speaking about live though. Might as well say it while we're on here. Y'all guys get ready. Um, live video. We will be going live really soon. What will y'all think about that? What do you think about that? Um, tell me if you like live videos or not. We're going to try to start answering questions on there like that. I'm sure it's probably going to be overwhelming the very first time. We're going to do the best that we can on our first live video. We've never been live before. Um, so bear with us letting y'all know now. Um, that we are going live soon, so y'all get prepared. But back onto our transmission working greatly. And still haven't been above two grand. 159 on the transmission temperature. We're cruising 6570 and haven't been over 2000 RPM. We're gonna slow down though, we're getting in town down 3rd Street. I'll get, Cody's gonna get the ticket, not me. <laughs> It's Friday, I think I already said that. We've had a wonderful weekend. The fair's in town. We're gonna go hang out at the fair, possibly. Spent all of our money. Um, 
man, they are, it starts today. There goes this week's paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> You're not lying. You're not lying, man. Some good food. We didn't have it last year because all the COVID, so. But go enjoy it. I'm very impressed. I, I mean, this thing works great. Yeah, it's shifting smooth. Really good. You can tell the difference in that triple billet too. All the, I mean, you can really tell the difference between a stock unit and one of Jasper's upgraded, fully upgraded with the triple billet converter. You know, I mean, they work tremendous, tremendous. Really nice unit. With a three year, 100,000 nationwide warranty. Can't beat that. It's a pretty good warranty. And as long as you take care of them, Man, I promise, guys, we don't have comebacks. We do not have comebacks. Oh, we got to move the unit. I'll get that old unit out the way. That's fine. All right, guys. Well, that's the first drive sequence there. We will uh, get back with y'all here shortly. And uh, we're gonna get some miles on this thing and we'll get back with y'all. Don't go on the anywhere. Channel. We've got Cody on the camera today. Thank you, Cody. Yes, we're going sir. on another drive test. Drive test, drive sequence, same thing, either or. We're gonna show y'all how we do this stuff here. Um, so we showed y'all how we did a 4L60E. A 4L60E, you do them exactly the same 4L65, 4L70. Same thing, uh, hook them up to a gauge, a laptop, if you're gonna be tuning on them, whatever you need to be done, or whatever needs to be done, that's what you will do. One of these, this is a 6L80, 6L90, uh, this 6L80 right here. Uh, 6L90 though, same thing, just a little bit bigger unit. You will do a drive sequence like this. We've ha we have a Drews technology computer, which allows us to program these computers in-house pretty awesome guys uh, we don't have to take them to the dealer we can do it right here in the house and then after we do that we do a adapt drive sequence reset everything and get this thing shifting like it should so we're gonna be real slow with this thing just like we did our diesel I'm gonna kind of watch everything here just have everything is rec everything's recording it's collecting data as we go down the road and uh, we're gonna do a drive test you ready Cody Yes, sir. You already got your seatbelt on. Let me get mine on. We'll got my seatbelt on. Safety first. Safety first, guys. <laughs> Safety first. Let me get that mirror out. I'm looking behind us. Heard that bell ring at the front door, so we're making sure nobody's in the way. And uh, this has a Circle D twin disc converter in it, doesn't it? Yes, this is the one we put the Circle D in. Yeah, we put a Circle D converter in this one, guys. This guy tows a gooseneck, so he really needed to depend on his converter. He's not overpowering. He's not overpowering the vehicle or anything like that, but these things are really weak from factory. We did not want to put a single disc in this thing. We thought that it would be not enough so we went with the twin disc billet really nice um this thing is is working good so far so i know we just got started but when they move is a good thing going gear that's a start we do have it up to operating temperature the truck does not tell us let's see uh, it, pr it probably does i just don't have it on there Uh, 120, 127 to 129. Engine hadn't even got all the way hot yet. Gonna be warm today in the 90s. A little windy, that's for sure. Got some wind coming in. Got some wind coming in. Good old Texas Panhandle. <laughs> you can see, if you actually look, look, there's downtown. It's really muggy. So same thing on this one, guys. We're just cruising this thing up, down, up, down.
Now we did build this unit in house. through our neighborhood we just like to like you said good up and down gears low rpm that's how you really get these trannies working our adventure of the day and i'm telling you it's kind of smoky today foggy anyways. Yep. A lot of dust in the air today. That's your good Texas panhandle for you. Always dusty. <laughs> Always dusty. Well, big old carrier over there. Big old plane. I don't think y'all can see that. We've got Bell helicopter here. Got one of the biggest. We actually make a, what is it, the Osprey? Yes, they make the offspring here. Yeah, they make the offspring here in Emerald, Texas. One of my best friends is uh, one of the main guys out there. He said he's all about his business and his work. He makes me motivated. I think they're doing touch and goes out there. Let's see if it takes back off. I really wish we were out there. I like to come and sit out here. Our airport's out here. We'll come out and set. We'll let the airplanes fly over us. And... Uh, do touch, they do touch and goes out there. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> okay, guys. So, we've got a check engine light coming up. So, I did have to check this thing out. As we can see here, we got a Cadillac system, a low efficiency. So, we're going to be noting that down on our paperwork. So, this gentleman can get this thing taken care of because the exhaust... You start getting a stopped up exhaust, you have to give them more gas than what they need. So what that does is the more gas you give it TPS, the more line pressure it's gonna raise. So the harder it's gonna shift when not needed. So, you know, it can cause high line pressure, you know, at low RPM and hard shifts when it's not, you know, um, you could have a good working unit, but you're just, you're just giving it more gas than it needs to go because it can't breathe. So, you know, that's one thing we're gonna note down it's going to keep coming back so i'm just going to leave it there and then we got our transmission codes display codes menu looking good no codes guys so we're going to keep going truck's running fine hasn't missed a lick yet but i think uh we got some cats having some issues here move that picture back over there i wait for this truck to go The engine still feels like it's got all of its power. I don't know how clogged up they are. You know, it's it's not terrible, I don't think, but enough to where it's gonna cause it to trip a code. The truck knows that we're having an issue. So that has to be addressed, guys. You know, um, I love y'all guys out there that, oh, my check engine light's been on forever and everything, it works fine. Okay, well, how do you know if you have another problem come up until I guess it just quits running? Is that how you do it? Is that the right way to do it, Cody? Uh, not the right way, but that's <laughs> the way a lot of people are doing it. A lot of people, hey look, check this jet out. Look at this, another one, check it out. Hey guys, look at this, coming right here. Can you see that pretty good, Cody? Yeah, man, there cutting it close they're gonna come land sorry guys i can't give in no gas that we're in our little driving sequence but they're out doing touch and goes today wow i mean it one about to land right here uh -huh. 
Another one coming right in behind it. Yes, sir. They used to do a lot of air shows here. Yep. Yeah, they haven't done an air show in a long time. No, they haven't. Like I said, we got one of the biggest airports. Yeah, too. another one coming in. Oh, yeah, look at them. Oh, I don't think... I can't go any faster, guys. I got to keep it slow. I mean, I'm working it, but... Wow, that's awesome. Oh, wish there was a fourth one. Got three of them. Yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> Talk about make a big kid turn into a kid real quick. <laughs> I don't know. It's just cool, guys. Planes are cool. I used to fly remote control planes a little bit when I was a kid. Uh, it was really fun to see that they, they, I think they both, they all landed. I hope y'all are having a wonderful day. You know, we are trying to change it up a little bit, um, do a little everything, show you the drive sequences, show you the R and R's, show you the builds, show you how we do things around the shop. Um, I mean, just everything, because it's it takes each and every one of us to get these things done. Um, my dad, he's man, I'm telling you, a master, a genius, one of the kind, one of a kind. I've got some big shoes to fill. I know that. Been doing it since I can remember. Been working for him full time for over 11 years. Um, never quit learning. I don't think. I mean, you never quit learning. We we both learn daily. I started doing this when I. Well, full time when I graduated out in 2010. I know I look young. You probably don't know how old I am, but uh, I'm about to turn 30. <laughs> yeah, dirty 30s coming up soon, guys. Turned into an old man, but still looking good. So that's good. All right, we go all the way out here, come back around. This just ensures that we get the miles on our vehicles like we're supposed to. So a lot of them, you know, they want you to get a good 50, 60 miles before you deliver them to the customer. Um, ensuring that the unit is working 100% and uh, that's what we like to do to our, with our units to um, come out to our airport a couple times three four times and uh, that'll calculate you good 50 60 miles and uh, get a good working unit out of it I know his AC works my knees frozen I know it's lunchtime it's lunchtime guys what are we having for lunch Hmm. What do we have, Cody? Maybe some Brahms with a good old shake. Man, are you buying? Get that chocolate shake. <laughs> what do y'all think about it? I think that's a good idea. It's yeah. Friday. Some good old Brahms and a good old chocolate shake. That sounds good to me. Man, that does sound good. I'm down. There's Bell helicopter over there, what Trim is just talking about. Yeah, it's huge. Big old place. I mean, all them buildings that we've got uh, coming up on our airport to the right. Just sitting there, you can barely see the tails of them. It's pretty cool. Sorry guys, my camera got a couple of broken cameras or uh, glasses on the back, so it kind of gets blurry. We go to a different mode, but I'm gonna get that changed here shortly couple days just waiting on parts can you believe that guys waiting on parts i mean every time it's car parts it's camera parts it's this it's that i mean guys i hope this is uh we're praying that this is the end but hopefully these, we don't we just don't know we're still struggling to get parts daily daily oh yeah let's see there's a second design it right here and I'll let y'all know <laughs> what the uh, temperature is <laughs> y'all just heard me chuckle but I'm looking at all the little prairie dogs running around we got prairie dog city out here 
I'm telling you, it's crazy. They're really They're all over the place. All over the place. Here's a, there you go. This is a big Right here, sorry about the stop sign. Everybody seen a prairie dog before? Hello, bro. That's funny. <laughs> I'll wait for this car to go. Normally they're like making noises at you and stuff, but he's pretty quiet. Hey! <laughs> they almost look like twins! <laughs> And that's why this guy is around. Oh man. Oh Cody. That's funny, dude. <laughs> hey, that's my brother over there. Don't be talking to him that way. <laughs> oh wow. Oh yeah, this truck's working really good, guys. Really, really, really good. And no other extra code still. We're just uh cooler on this one uh this this has a cooler on it this one has a, has a uh, big cooler on the front i'm pretty sure already nice yep some of them have small ones some of them come with a little bit bigger ones uh, i don't know if you can pick that option when you buy a vehicle or not some of them don't even come with them they're just ran straight through the radiator no cooler so I definitely wouldn't pick that option. That's probably the worst option to pick. This one has that cooler bypass valve, so they got to get up to a certain operating temperature before they even start flowing anyways. But you always want to make sure that uh, they're cleaned out really well, working correctly. If not, replace them, throw it away, get you a new one. Sometimes, depending on the application, we actually you can get rid of them and just run it straight through so just depending on what application you have depends on what we're doing and that goes with anything dodge chevy ford we i mean that's that's what we ask for when you know our customers bring the vehicle in you know what you're doing with it how you drive it tow performance everything where we know how to build these things, how to make them last long, and get the longevity durability out of them. That's what we're all about. Yes, sir. Longevity, durability, and then if you're making that power, we want it to hang. We want it to handle that 1,000 horsepower, that 2,000 horsepower. Our house car this year, 2,500 to 3,000 horsepower. It's going to be a radical car. And I said this year, we're praying that it's together at the end of the year. Um, if not, first of the year. We've got a lot of new things coming for that thing. It's been wonderful, but goes back to waiting on parts. Can you believe it? I mean, it, it's really been, it's been crazy, guys. So if somebody tells you they're waiting on parts, I mean, they could be giving you the runaround, but us here... We are true, and a lot of times we're waiting on parts. That's the problem, waiting around. Our two-day jobs are taking us a week because of the parts that we're having to get in. Oh, look, yeah. Darn. Too bad we weren't out there. Maybe I, maybe we'll catch him out there one day. We'll go hang out at the airport. We'll uh, video them flying by. It's pretty cool. I mean, they, they get really close. A little fly-by action. What do you think, Cody? Working really good, huh? Working pretty great. Yeah. It's shifting smooth. Smooth. All the all the updates that we did working really well. You can tell the unit is working to its ability now. Um, we do a lot of Sonex updates to these things. Um, not too much. There's no reason to do any tuning to the transmission um, unless it's just some high horsepower application, race car, different thing like that, of course. Um, but daily driver, 
no need to mess with really the tuning of the vehicle. Of course, there are upgrades that need to be done. You have your GM common failures. Um, you replace that, you get that fixed, you're good to go. Good to go, if you know what you're doing. Man, I'm telling you, fair is getting it today. Second time we drove by today, guys. I know I'm getting hungry. Fair food sounds good. Really good. Oh, turkey leg. Cheese on a stick. What else do I like? Uh, oh, deep fried ice cream. Deep fried ice cream, deep fried Twinkies. The, oh, the Twinkies. Yes, sir. Have you ever had, Snickers are good. I tried a, man, I've tried the deep fried peanut butter and jelly, but oh, it's too much. Never it's, tried that one. Oh, man, they do. Or the Snickers. They dip a, uh, un, well, the people, they dipped an Uncrustable. And they fry it, then they give it to you, but it ends up being too much. Too much sweet, too sweet for me. I can't do it. But some people might. I tried shark one time. It wasn't my thing. Should what have, up, guys? Oh, sorry. Go for it. Should have a few cars coming up this next year. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cody's got a car. Dad's got a car. Cody's got a what kind of what year Camaro? Fifth Two, gen. 2011. Did a 418 build on it. Uh -oh. Had uh, Richard and Trent build my transmission for me traded out for painting the dirty bird yeah yeah that's how we met cody um did some work i mean both wonderful people um he helped us we helped him everybody's happy and heck he's even stuck around we're all we're, we're working together we brought it together as family now uh we can be we can do it all together you know paint automotive little everything everybody's happy oh man that's enough driving for right now, guys. We got to go get some food. But that's how we do it here at Precision. We do quick learns. We do adapt learns. We re reprogram them here in the house. We do it all. I mean, things working really well. Really well. Never got above 200 degrees. 179, it actually cool, cooled down. That's nice. You know what that means? If you liked, go give us a thumbs up. Go subscribe to the YouTube channel down there in that uh, the old corner down there. You'll get that taken care of. And uh, we'll see y'all next time. Y'all have a wonderful day. Hit that notification bell. Oh yeah, don't forget about the notification bell. Very important. Be the first to see the videos. Have a wonderful day.